Hi guys, hello, welcome, welcome, don't know if that's correct, konnichiwa, ohio, and all that jazz. So <clears throat> I'm doing this one straight after I've done the last one, I hope you've watched it, it's an extremely good video. So yes, um, this is the one I'm doing straight after, it's the book that I've recently finished which is called The Spellgrinder's Apprentice by N. M. Brown. Go, a little bit shiny. Um, it's a small book, but I'm review. I'm going to review it today. I'm not the best at reviewing, so please bear with me. Please have some faith and have some patience. Um, this book is almost 300 pages, 297 pages long. It is about a boy called Tomo, and he is a spellgrinder's apprentice, and they grind these stones to change the shape that they should be, they're supposed to be, so that they can be used magically. Um, it doesn't really tell you in the story a lot about the stones themselves. Um, it's just about Tomo's journey. Um, he was taken as a child, they thought he was an orphan. Um, they take him as a child and they put him into this um, cellar that they put all the children that grind these stones and there is where he stays day in day out um, his hair is white his skin is white and very white from the signs of it because of what he's been doing for however long he's been doing it for um, so he doesn't like his life and he runs away. He has to go. He doesn't want to do it anymore. He gets caught and then he has so long to get from one place to another. Um, otherwise he gets hung. Hanged, sorry, he gets hanged. On his, cha on his travels he meets up with a girl the same age as him called Akenna. Um, she is very fiery. She is very tomboyish. She's the only child. Her father is a drunk. Um, he's not very nice. Her mother's not around. And she feels sorry for him because he's at death's door. She takes him with her. She feeds him. She chains him up so he can't run away because he promises to help her on her boat. Um, and things go on like this. So basically it's his journey trying to escape the law, if you like. Um, I liked the story. I really did like the story. The first half of the book, I know, like I said, I know it's not a massive book, but the first half I read it in a day. The second half, it took me a lot, a bit longer. I do do that with books anyway, though. It was nothing against the story. The story was very good. Some parts were in the middle and was a little bit boring, but I mean, hey, you have to fill books up with something, don't you? Um, but I mean, it was okay. For this story, it was fine. Um, I liked Tomo. I loved Tomo. Tomo was lovely. You just wanted to pick him up and squeeze him. I think he's only about meant to be about sixteen-ish. He's not overly old. He was he was lovely. He really brought out the motherly motherly side of people of me anyway. Um, and you just wanted to wrap him in cotton wool and take care of him because he's not very well. A lot in this book through the things he's had to deal with. They don't feed them much, they're small, you know. Um, I can't really tell you lots and lots because obviously it's better to find it out in the book. Um, Akenna, I liked Akenna. However, she was a little bit, however, for every fiery and wonderful part of her, there was a whinging, annoying, oh, Tomo could never do anything right around her. Obviously, through her upbringing, she just learnt to be very independent and when someone couldn't do anything then she got angry very quickly. So I mean I can understand why but she was a little bit whingy for my liking to be honest. Women don't whinge a lot, they get on with it and she did get on with it but she also whinged a heck of a lot too. Um, there were other characters in it too, it wasn't just those two. Those two were just the main ones. And I did I did like all the, the characters that were in there. Um, it's very 
it is um, fantasy, not I wouldn't say high fantasy because obviously it's a child's book so there's only so much you can put into it or should I say a YA. Um, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it, I gave it, um, f I think it was four stars I gave it, four stars, but I wanted to give it a 3.5 but obviously you can't so... I bumped it up the extra half because it, I think it was it was more a four than a than a three. Um, yeah, the story was good. the The flow was good. It was an even flow right the way through. It didn't speed up. Like I said, it did slow down slightly, and I mean just slightly, in the story in the middle. But I mean, it do, that does happen sometimes. Um, I enjoyed it. I think it's well worth the read if you're um, if you like fantasy or if you're just getting into fantasy because obviously, like I said, it's not hard to follow because it's a YA. Um, it's it's easy to follow. It's easy to understand because I know with fantasy books, they uh, big ones, especially adult ones, they have a lot of characters. They have a lot going on if they're a very good fantasy or high fantasy book. Um, this one is enough fantasy to start you on that road if you're worried about it, but if you want to get into it. I would definitely recommend this. Definitely. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this. Go for it. Go out. Give it a try. You won't... I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's just a nice story. It's a good fantasy story. So, well done, N.M. Brown. And I think, yeah, if there were more in the series, I would definitely... I don't think so. Um, I don't think there could be, the way she finished it. But if there was, I would read it in a heartbeat. Because it was a good book. Okay? So, yeah, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment and subscribe. It all helps me. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.